Hello, I'm Father Scalia. I'm the Episcopal Vicar for Clergy in the Diocese of Arlington. Our Lord says in this Sunday's Gospel, whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. This is a fundamental paradox in the Christian life. It is central to living as disciples of Christ. And it might seem odd to us at first, this, this demand to lose our lives, and in so doing we will find them. But in a sense, we know it already because we practice this in other areas. An athlete, for example, or a musician understands that self-denial is essential in becoming a better athlete or a better musician. They can't live just however they want. They need to discipline and deny themselves in certain areas so that they can grow in their expertise. The pagans of the ancient world understood this as well. But in Christianity, it, it takes on greater significance. What our Lord says is, whoever loses his life for my sake, we're not losing our lives for just some worldly endeavor or worldly success, but for Christ himself. And whoever does that will find his life, we will find fulfillment because Christ's life in us has increased. And Christ has also shown us the way already. He is the first one to give his life, and in that sense, to lose it. And in so doing, he was then raised by the Father from the dead and now bestows upon us eternal life. The risen one is precisely that because he is willing to give his life for us. And so the challenge for this week is really to consider where in our lives are these acts of self-denial? Where are we learning to lose our lives, to discipline ourselves by denying ourselves certain things? Good examples would be at the table, do we eat and drink whatever we want and whenever we want? Or in our entertainment, do we listen to and watch whatever we want and whenever we want? These are very simple areas in which we can deny ourselves these, these legitimate pleasures. And in doing that, we exercise and increase this muscle of self-denial. We grow to understand that by foregoing these things and dying to ourselves, losing our lives, we create room for Christ to increase His life within us. While you're on vacation this summer, don't take a vacation from your spiritual life. Subscribe to Two Minutes to Virtue.